Oh, here we go, that's better. Here we have Yonix's newest shoe, the Power Cushion Comfort Z3. If you're new here, my name is Howard Chu and I'm an Olympic badminton player for Team USA. I share tons of badminton content and what it's like to be an independent athlete, but I also do product reviews like this one. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and let's get into this video. Now, I'm super excited for this shoe because up until these came out, I was actually wearing the previous Z2 model from the Comfort Z line, which are these right here. The Z3s are the newest version of the Comfort Z line, and we're going to dive in on some of the new features of this shoe. Just like some of my other product reviews, I'll talk a little bit about the overall design and new technology in the shoe, the weight of the shoes, how they fit, the color options, and how much they're gonna cost you. For most of the upper and the midsection of the shoe, you get this sleek black. Then there's neon yellow accenting on the laces, the Yonex logo near the heel, the lettering on the tongue and the side of the shoe, the caging underneath this black mesh, and also the midsole. The other color accent you have is this infrared that also surrounds the midsole of the shoe, and it really pops on the neon yellow and black. Moving to some of the internal features of the shoe, you have the Power Cushion Plus technology, which we know Yonex has tested a 28% increase in shock absorption and a 62% increase in repulsion compared to standard EVA sneaker materials. But along with the Power Cushion Plus in the ball and heel areas, there's two more new layers called the Featherlight X and the Featherlight Bounce Foam in the midsole areas. Featherlight Bounce Foam makes the sneaker 8% lighter than the previous material and also generates a Yonex tested 20% more repulsion than the previous models. So basically it's lighter, but gives you even more bounce and explosiveness. In between all of this new technology in the midsole, you still have your 3D power graphite sheet that helps generate power, but still maintain stability by preventing any unwanted twists in the shoes. One of the new features that's visible on the shoe is the soles. I've been used to the hexa grip sole shape that's been on most of the previous models, but Yonex has designed a brand new pattern called the radial blade sole. With these mini windmill looking shapes instead of the hexagons, the weight of the shoe is supposed to be dispersed more effectively and improve your grip by 3%. Lastly, this shoe has what's called the Flexion upper and inner booty. The photo on the left was the previous Z2, and you could see that the laces were kind of curved on the shoe. Here with this Flexion upper, the laces are more symmetrical and held in place by the lace loop in the center of the tongue. The inner booty itself is inside the shoe, so the tongue is not completely detached, but you have less slippage and just a tighter coverage around your entire foot. As with some of the other shoes that we've tested, I like to show you guys how they compare. So today we're gonna take a look at how they compare with the previous model. So the previous Z2s are coming in at around 365 grams. And now the Z3s are coming in lighter actually at around 347 grams. So they're about 20 grams lighter than the previous model. As far as sizing, these run pretty true to size. I didn't have to go up or down a size, so I would just recommend your normal size on these. And as for fit, I would say that they're pretty normal fit. If you compare them with the previous model, you'll notice that the tongue is detached even though it has the inner booty. On the last model, it was just an opening where you would insert your foot where the tongue was and you couldn't adjust the tongue at all. So with this semi-detached tongue, I think you actually get more flexibility if you had a wider foot and you'd be able to control how tight they are around your foot just with the laces. You'll see that there's two colors of this shoe and that's because there's a men's version, which is the black one that we have here, and also a women's version, which is a white one. I actually think that the white one looks really clean as well. And so if you're a guy and you wanna fit in those, you might be able to try and size up about a size and a half and you might fit those. Now, how much are these gonna set you back? The Comfort Z is one of their high-end shoes and you can just tell by the quality of materials on the shoe. It falls in just around the same price range as the Aeris models or even the Eclipse on Zs being around $140 to $150 but still being cheaper than the highest end Power Cushion Infinity that has the BOA lacing system. Now let's head over to the course, lace these up and give them a try.
Let me tell you guys, I absolutely love these shoes. Tons of cushioning, they're not too heavy, and you just get this overall supportive feeling that I'm looking for in a good badminton shoe. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this shoe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I love these shoes.